All right, today is the day. We're in sunny South Florida. Well, of course, you can tell we're not in sunny South Florida. We are back in Oregon after a trip to Florida in which we went and built an auto gyro. Of course, when we were in Florida, the audio portion of this introduction got lost. So here we are again introducing this, and this introduction is for the first video in this Eve Saber auto gyro series. Now, of course, this project hasn't even been begun, but we're still working on little things of it, doing some investigation into some of the things we might do into the project. And as part of that, I have a friend who bought an auto gyro and we went to South Florida to help him work on that. They're in Sebring. Of course, Sebring is the home of the famed raceway where the endurance race takes place and maybe we'll see a little action there on that as well. So come along with me as we go take a look at that build of the auto gyro and the experience of there going to Sebring. So when you arrive at Sebring and make it to the airport there, this was the hangar where Chris Lord, the gyroplane guy, operates. And here he comes, rolling in in ELA Cougar. Of course, when you get somewhere where there's going to be some flying action, of course, that's what you want to participate in. So, Chris is going to take me up in the Cougar. Open cockpit, so I want to make sure we get strapped in good. Putting some belts on. Now Chris is trying to take my glasses out. Trying to scare me that some kind of maneuver is coming up that I would have to worry about that. Anyway, pass those off. Go out for a flight in the Cougar. Now one thing about auto gyros is they perform a little bit differently than the average uh, fixed wing aircraft. You will see some of that here. Just taking me around the airport and you'll see here we're going to come in for a landing. The approach angle is a little bit different than you find in the average uh, airplane. Coming in quite steep. Just even set right on those green dots in the middle. Great flying. Also, another YouTuber stopped by, Ryan Rankin, Navy pilot that's doing uh, 52 airplanes in uh, one year. He went up with Ryan, and that's what Chris thought of his plan. Actually, Ryan, great pilot. Here's why there's so much humidity in Sebring. Rain and then sun. But that's okay, we're not here to be outside all the time, getting to work on the outer gyro. This is a ELA Eclipse in its broken down form. Not much assembled yet, but that's what we're here for. And some other kits sitting there waiting for their prospective owners to come and put them together. Stepping up the process a little bit quicker here, installing the prop. Now the way this worked is you can see in the background there a video screen and you watch a video of the process being done. Instead of a manual, they have a video all in Spanish. So we got to practice our Spanish trying to understand what they're talking about. But that's why I operate. You see something done, able to duplicate it. a short tour we are about three quarters of the way through maybe even a little better than that might not seem quite together because it's missing a canopy and a little bit of interior but this is the machine and we're gonna say hello to uh, Keith Butler the proud owner of this machine And of course, about a hundred more hours and this thing will be flying. <laughs> Here is a, uh, it's polar opposite, a white eclipse in its finished trim. And of course, gonna take that white eclipse out. Chris gonna give me another flight. This time in the Eclipse. Again, off onto the runway. And you'll see here in a moment that uh, another thing that you won't see the typical takeoff of a fixed wing aircraft just gets airborne and makes a 90 degree turn down the runway. And great performance from this aircraft. Now it's time to turn the controls over to uh, myself. Not actually, Chris is still in control. 
can see that the aircraft almost seems like it's flying backwards as he comes into the window. As we take a hard maneuver to the left, who's flying that thing? Well, Chris giving me the thumbs up. Actually, he was doing the flying there. I just kept it straight level when it was my turn. Again, another beautiful day in Sebring. The rain has stopped. And we get for another steep approach from the auto channel. Of course, again, we're at Sebring, so it's not all flying. Not all raining. There was a lot of rain. Interspersed with some sunshine. And then, of course, on the Saturday, we got to go over and see a sports car club doing some racing. Interesting that that day we saw at least four or five different type of uh, classes of cars racing, and they just mix them all together and let them run. But what better than uh, flying and racing all together in one trip? But we can't just spend our time at the racetrack. Here, Keith telling me, get back to work. And we're almost finished. Right about 98%. And here we've got Keith up in the air doing some training with Chris.